and welcome to Craftworks. Today I'm going to show you how to make this waterfall card using the Nothing's Better Than stamp set from Stampin' Up. So I'm using Crumb Cake card base, just a white card with ink and a dauber, which as you can see I have already started. And all you're going to do is dab it in your ink and dab it onto the card until you get the desired effect that you want. Don't worry about the measurements for this, I'm going to post them all in the comments so that when you decide to make this card yourself, maybe you can print them out and keep them so you don't have to keep referring back to the video. Unless, of course, you'd like to. So I'm a brand new Stamping Up demonstrator. I joined on Wednesday. So not really sure of my way around just yet. But, uh, and this is my first ever video. I've never, ever, ever filmed myself making cards before. It's quite exciting. I was very excited to be doing this today. I woke up at quarter past, uh, sorry, quarter to six, actually, and the time is now quarter to four, and that's how long it's taken me to pluck up the courage to actually do this. So that is my daubing done. Now I'm going to take the stamp set, and the words on that is today's plan, consume. So I want that at about there. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp randomly around. Using all of the lovely words. I love the script on here. So there, that there is our background. So now we need to glue it to our card base. I'm using Tombow glue, it dries quite quickly. But the one thing that I love about it, and I don't know if you know this, but if you get a gluey mess on the front of your card, there is a glue eraser which looks just like a rubber and it takes it clean off. It's amazing. And that's why I like it so much because I make a lot of mistakes sometimes. There you go, line that up and press it down. Next, we are going to stamp our images for the waterfall part of this card. So I'm going to start with the cookie because believe it or not, the cookie gives me the most trouble of all of these stamps in lining them up. I don't know why. It is most definitely something that I'm doing. So I think that looks okay. Yeah. Happy with that. Next, I'm going to do the chocolate, but I'm going to use a bit of black with the chocolate as well, so, so that you get two-tone effect. I'm gonna do it that way. And I'm using black ink for this. 
this and line that up. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And the coffee cup. Now I'm going to put the coffee cup quite low. Oh, did you see? I smudged it. It's okay. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to go again. I've probably smudged this one too. So there we go. Not, not awful. This is why I went lower, because it's got steam. And then line this one up as well. And the last one, oh sorry, I haven't opened the ink pad for that one yet, is the cocktail glass. And the cocktail glass fits if you do it this way across. It is tight. And now the middle piece, this colour is beautiful, it is Mad Magenta Madness, it's the new one, one of the in colours and I love it. And there we have that. So that is all of our stamping done. So I'm just going to pop everything away very quickly. And then we will start gluing. in here. And just centre that in the middle. Pop that over there. Next, I'm going to show you the mechanism. This makes the magic happen. It's amazing. So there are our panels for the mechanism. Okay, so here it is. So, and it is scored. This is 19, yeah, 19 centimeters by five centimeters. And it is scored. And you, what we're going to do is we're going to stick each one of these onto a score line. And that is how we get the waterfall effect. So burnish it really well. You can use your burnishing tool for this. Now this long side, I'm going to pop in the delightful tag punch. I'm just going to turn it over, make sure it's lined up nicely and then punch. 
And there you have it. So, this is what we're going to do. This is the first fold. And you're going to glue this piece, all of it, down onto this. So each part will be completely stuck down. Now this piece, you're only going to put glue at the top. And I think we'll go chocolates. And we're going to line that up. Don't worry about that. We'll just wipe that away. Just make sure it's lined up correctly. And then fold it again and we'll do the same again this time where we put our cookie and same again for the coffee cup So now what we're going to do is get our card and we're going to just pop it there. That is where I would like it. So I'm going to put my finger on this long piece and push that over there. Now before, I'm, I'm just going to put glue on both ends of this because it's going to stick either side of that. So, But before I glue it down, I need to double check where this top section lines up because we're going to glue that to the top section. So that is where I would like it. So that's where I'm putting it, right there. Nice and straight. And now I'm going to flip this across and I hope you can see this. I'm just putting glue along that edge. I'm going to glue it to here. And it's going to line up like that. Just make sure it's nice and straight. And there you have it. You can finish it off with some twine, but unfortunately I've run out of twine. So it is on order due any day. And this is a bit sticky because it's a little bit wet still. That is how you make a waterfall card. If you'd like to buy any of the products that you've seen today, just send me an email, it's on my Facebook page, and, uh, and I'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.